What are great zoysia varieties? Uh, well, zoysia as a whole, I would say, uh, it, there, there are a lot of different types of zoysia uh, out there. I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't even, uh, haven't even counted. I bet there are 30 plus types of zoysia that you could call around and get your hands on today. Uh, we carry, uh, and, and they fall into two families. They're either the fine bladed zoysias or the uh, little bit coarser bladed zoysias. Uh, we carry some of each. We carry palisade zoysia, which is the little bit uh, thicker bladed. And by thicker bladed, I mean, uh, I don't really have something to compare it to, but it is probably a, a quarter inch or, or, or less uh, uh, on the blades. It's not near as thick as just the St. Augustine that everybody has. And then there are the fine bladed zoysias uh, that, that we carry are the emerald and the cavalier. Uh, they look very, very similar. They're uh, very fine bladed. Uh, the comparison there would be like the grasses that you see on golf courses the uh, which is I, I, to my knowledge mainly the tiff way uh, very fine bladed you're not going to mistake zoysia for any other grass uh, out there and that's uh, aesthetics is a, is, a, is a big reason that people buy uh, any of the zoysias uh, they also have some good attributes like the uh, they've got good wear tolerance they've got, got good drought tolerance uh, a lot of them and uh, they've got a slower growing habit for the most part as well. So uh, you not, not have to mow as often. Uh, and when well kept and, and manicured, uh, there's probably not a better looking grass out there than the, than the zoysias. Uh, as far as care, uh, I have to say that Palisades would probably be my favorite because anybody that's ever taken care of a, uh, a St. Augustine yard can take care of Palisades. Pretty much the same thing as far as mowing, watering, fertilizing, uh, and, and, and general overall care, watering. Uh, uh, so it, as ease of use goes, I, I, the, the uh, award definitely goes to Palisades. Uh, there is uh, Palisades, the only, only downfall to it is it needs about the same amount of sunlight as the regular Raleigh St. Augustine. It needs six or seven hours of direct sunlight per day. If you don't get that, it will dwindle over time. That's where the fine bladed zoysias come in. The Emerald and the Cavalier, uh, they, are, uh, they do have more shade tolerance. Uh, in my opinion, they're a little bit more maintenance intensive. Uh, for, for a couple of different reasons, but uh, if you get more along the lines of that four or five hours of direct sunlight in an area, uh, the, the, uh, the fine bladed zoysias could, could certainly be an answer to that. Uh, they do, as uh, the maintenance goes, because they do grow so much slower, the fine bladed in particular, uh, like the Emerald and Cavalier, uh, if you ever if you have a spot that gets injured uh, for whatever reason worn down because of excessive traffic or uh, you get a weak spot for whatever reason because it recuperates so much slower uh, you can get weeds uh, a lot of times I tell people the weed seeds that are just in the air blowing around all the time will be there and they will get a chance to germinate and come up before the uh, the fine bladed zoysia has a chance to recover and and block out those uh, and block the sun uh, so the, the way weed seeds germinate if you have a good thick uh, healthy lawn weed seeds are always blowing around but the sun can't penetrate through to the dirt to uh, to germinate those weed seeds so if you've got a good healthy thick yard it's not an issue, but when you get weak spots, those weed seeds get in there and that sun can get to that dirt and that uh, it will germinate those weed seeds. So it can, it can be an issue. So that's, that's really the only uh, downfall to the, to the fine bladed, in, in, in my opinion. Uh, uh, zoysia is a fantastic grass. As a matter of fact, we have all of them growing out here in front of our, yard, uh, in front of our office. And the zoysias are always the, uh, the ones that everybody gets out of their car and goes over to, to look, first, look at first. And I think it's probably because the aesthetics, they look different than what most people are used to. Uh, they feel better under your feet and uh, they're just overall uh, a great grass and uh, it's certainly something to give some consideration to if you're replacing a, a yard.